Yo, we back like we never left, because we never left. You know the rest. So, um, first of all, I just want to say what's up. I know I bet y'all thought I was going to take another three months to drop something, but back to back, baby. Back to back to back to back to back. So, let's get right into it. So, boom. This joint right here, I'm going to take y'all back to 2001, like January. Very early 2001. I'm pretty sure it was January. Um, So, at this time, I was out on bail, um, about to go up to do my my two to four, about to go up north to do my two to four. But I went in, I ended up going in like September, October of 2001. So this is early January. Um, As you can see, it was a Mayweather fight. I believe it was Mayweather and Corrales. Y'all can look it up. I think it was Corrales. So Corrales is Mexican or at least half Mexican. So, you know, we was Team Mayweather all day. So, not no racist shit, it's just how it was. So, boom, it's like five of us. We at, we at this girl crib. We up there, we got a half gallon of Henny. We got Bud, you know, I don't smoke, but niggas got Bud and shit. So, we, we watching the fight. The fight was, was super hyped up because the Corrales dude ain't never lose either, like Mayweather. I think he was like 30-something, 30 30-something 30 and no. And he was nice. He was. He was dead nice. So it was supposed to be a really good fight. I think they was even saying Mayweather might lose. So we watching the fight. Of course, Mayweather whooped his ass all the way to like, I think the ninth or the tenth round until his corner ended up stopping it because he knocked him down like five times during the fight. So for y'all fight, uh, for y'all dudes that really like fights and stuff, y'all remember. Y'all definitely remember this fight. So anyway, so of course we hype, we, we drunk, we super hype. So after the fight, we go outside, everybody amped up. I think we were supposed to go to a bar or a lounge or something. So we out, we out, we on our block. So we come out, we on Hawthorne, we walking down Hawthorne towards Ludlow, right? So we still drinking, super hype. The fight just finished like 10 minutes ago. So of course we all think we Mayweather now. All five of us think we Mayweather. So we walking and just so happens, it's like four Mexicans walking towards us, right? Like I said, no racist shit, it's just how it went down. So it's about four Mexicans walking towards us and they hype. You can tell they hype because they making mad noise and shit too. So we like, oh, here we go, right? Like I said, we Mayweather now, <laughs> right? And they, they corral us. So they walking towards us. Once we, get, once we get close enough where we can fight, and this is for no reason other than being drunk and just watching that fight and everybody's hyped up. So we kind of like bump heads. As soon as we bump heads, my man set it off and knocked one of them out. And these ain't, these ain't the Mexicans that y'all probably used to like the old the Mexicans that be drunk and you hit them once and they out, not, it was, they was fighting back, you know what I'm saying? So, of course, as soon as my man set it off, everybody jumped on them, they jumped too. So, we fighting, the fight is crazy. Everybody getting hit, hitting niggas, everybody's just going crazy in the middle of the street, wilding out. So, the fight went on, it felt like half an hour, it was probably like four minutes, three minutes, some shit like that, but it felt, it felt like forever. So, one of them is out cold and we getting the best of the other ones so they they end up taking off the other three they took back off down down like down no street down that way they left their man knocked out so we super hype and we see that we chased them like for like half a block they got away we come back they man on the floor so we start doing him dirty which was crazy but we was young and stupid we start going crazy on them stomping them out we did them real filthy so we, my man started, you know, like, I guess he got a little sense and he was like, yo, chill, that's enough, that's enough. So we, you know, he grabbed everybody, we out. So we just ran. We ran back towards, back towards where we was coming from. So eventually we all split up. I ended up going home. Next morning, I come back outside and I bump into one of my mans that was there with me that night, you know, the last night. And he like, yo, son, 
the boys was looking for us. So I'm like, looking for us? He like, yeah, for that shit from yesterday, from last night. Supposedly the dude got hurt really bad and shit. So I'm like, fuck. So he like, yo, it's serious. They already had caught like one of us. I think that same night they caught one of my mans. So of course I grabbed a few, a few things and I dipped to my sisters. My sister was, she was out of town. So I jumped on the bus and dipped to my sisters for a minute. So eventually shit died down. They grabbed one more of my man. So out of all of us, they grabbed two of us. Of course, my mans didn't tell, nobody told or nothing. They held it down. They caught some assault charges. The dude didn't pass away or nothing. He didn't die, he was just hurt. Bad, so they caught assault charges and shit. And I never got in trouble for that. But, and then eventually I ended up getting sentenced to the two to four for the, for the charge that I was out on bail for. But um, I say that to say, this, that, that for the youngins, that shit is whack. All that jumping, get drunk, cause easily we could have caught a murder charge for stomping on that kid like that, you know? And even, I know it happens everywhere, but in my town, there were, there's a story I'm not gonna speak on, like in specific, but there was a group of dudes that they, the same shit went down. It was just a little more of them and they all end up getting knocked and they end, and the dude end up dying and they end up doing a lot of time, you heard? They all home, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe one of them is still up top, but they all home. But they sat for 15, some of them sat for 15, 12, 13 years behind that shit, you know what I'm saying? Behind some, some reckless young shit. So for the youngins, man, think before you act, you know what I mean? Because that little, that little choice that you make could cause you the rest of your life or, or the next 15 years of your life and it's not worth it, you know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, I feel like hitting y'all with that joint today. I'll be right back, back to back. I love y'all. And I want to say also rest in peace to Brian and Lizzie, man, from my hood. I heard they passed away, shit crazy. The way they passed away was crazy. I ain't really gonna speak on it, but rest in peace, man. And I love y'all, one.